mean, when locals love a tourist attraction, you know it's gotta be good. And that's Santa Monica, baby. Best of both worlds and then some. LA is all about living your best life and Travel Lemming is all about helping you have your best trip, but best isn't the same for everyone, right? So in this video, we will breeze through 84 awesome things to do in Los Angeles so you can pick your favorites to plan your best LA adventure. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll introduce you to a secret spot that immerses you in pure Cali vibes and the number one don't miss site in Los Angeles. In a word, stunning. Santa Monica is the most popular beach in LA and it lives up to the hype. In addition to soft sand and swimmable surf, the area is packed with fun, family-friendly attractions like Third Street Promenade, bi-weekly farmer's markets, the world famous Santa Monica Pier, and many more which you'll find in my full guide to Santa Monica. For a more mellow beach day, check out South Bay spots like the relaxed surf life vibes in Hermosa Beach or the long sandy beach in Redondo bordered by a unique horseshoe shaped pier. You can get a taste of Ellie's wild side along the boisterous Venice Beach boardwalk or head north to Malibu which offers a mix of serene picturesque beaches like El Matador and large more easily accessed spots like Zoom Beach. Famous for being famous, Hollywood is the ultimate LA attractions for fans of film and television. We only have time to hit the hot spots in this video, so click the QR code on screen to bookmark my full guide on the best of Hollywood. Hollywood Boulevard is where you'll find world famous attractions like TCL Chinese Theater and the Walk of Fame. There are lots of spots to get a peek at the iconic Hollywood sign, but hiking tours offer the best views of this iconic landmark. And Universal Studios takes you behind the scenes and features thrilling, immersive experiences in Jurassic Park and the wizarding world of Harry Potter. We'd love it if you'd take this moment to work your magic on the like button. Our team here at Travel Lemming works hard to bring you all the best tips and tricks for your travels and we sure do appreciate your support. In contrast to the higher price points found in theme parks, LA museums are a great opportunity to get top tier attractions for low cost or free general admission. Yep. I said free, as in zero dollars. You'll find lots of excellent choices in downtown Los Angeles, including the Museum of Contemporary Art and the Broad Museum. The La Brea Tar Pits are a must-see attraction in the Mid-Wilshire area, located adjacent to the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, which does charge an admission fee, but features this iconic photo op for free, 24 hours a day. Just one block west, you'll find the Peterson Automotive Museum, not free, but very rad. Getty Center, however, is free and hands down is my favorite museum anywhere in Los Angeles. Though it does have a semi-hefty parking fee, you can offset that cost by nabbing a same-day parking pass to sister property Getty Villa in Malibu. Exposition Park is another hotspot for free activities, one that will likely grow in popularity during the run-up to the 2028 Summer Olympics as it's home to the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, the only facility worldwide to have hosted the Summer Games twice in 1932 and 1984. Tickets to Coliseum events and tours vary in price, but admission is free for Exposition Park museums, including the California Science Center, California African American Museum, and Los Angeles County Natural History Museum. While park in this case refers more to the area than actual green space, there is a beautiful rose garden. If you're after a more traditional park, you'll love Griffith Park, one of the largest municipal parks with an urban wilderness area in the United States. In addition to picnic areas, playgrounds, and an award-winning 18-hole golf course, Griffith offers a merry-go-round, pony rides, trail rides, travel town museum, and the Autry Museum of the American West. It's here you'll find the LA Zoo, legendary concert venue, the Greek Theater, and of course, the world-famous Griffith Park Observatory. On top of all that, you'll find 53 miles of trails in the park's wilderness area, and that's just one of the awesome Los Angeles spots to go for a hike. Outdoor enthusiasts can trek through California wilderness to spectacular views of the coast in Malibu Creek State Park and Leo Carrillo State Park, also in Malibu. If you prefer to stay closer to the city, Mulholland Drive runs across the crest of the Hollywood Hills, offering more great hiking spots like Runyon Canyon and Fryman Canyon, plus several fantastic viewpoints overlooking Los Angeles and West Hollywood. Speaking of West Hollywood, why oh boy is this a great spot for live entertainment. Sunset Strip is home to celebrated comedy clubs, the Comedy Store and Laugh Factory, as well as star-studded live music lineups in clubs like The Roxy and Whiskey A Go-Go. Not to mention all the fabulousness down on Santa Monica Boulevard. 
This would be a very long video if I were to shout out all the awesome things to do in this thriving LGBTQ plus mecca, so be sure to bookmark my West Hollywood article to read about them all after the video. For now, let's look back to the OG Hollywood, where Pantages Theatre stages Broadway hits in an Art Deco masterpiece. Hollywood is also home to my personal favorite venue anywhere in LA, the Hollywood Bowl. From perfect picnics to powerhouse performances, the concert experience here is second to none. That said, if you're looking to go big or go home, pick up tickets to big budget productions in downtown LA's Crypto.com Arena, home of the LA Lakers. Up next, let's talk food. Thanks to a diverse mix of cultures from around the globe and the freshest products from California farms, Los Angeles is a foodie paradise. Polo Lounge and the Beverly Hills Hotel, Hollywood Haunt, Musso and Frank, and Celebrity Hangout, The Ivy, are long-standing favorites on the upscale food scene. Cantor's Deli serves comfort food classics 24 hours a day, and you won't want to miss the taquitos at Cielito Lindo. One of the best places to sample a variety of LA favorites is Grand Central Market. Local farmers markets offer a mix of artisan foods and quality produce. The one I mentioned, the Santa Monica, is great, as is the original farmers market on Fairfax. My very best food tip though, and one of my favorite things about LA, just period, is fruit carts. You'll see them all over the place serving freshly chopped fruit with an optional chili and lime for bargain prices. On the opposite side of the price range, welcome to Beverly Hills, home of some of the world's most splendid restaurants, hotels, and the ultra-luxurious boutiques of Rodeo Drive, not to mention the real estate. Expensive? Oh yeah! But also beautiful and free to look at, just like Beverly Hills attractions, Beverly Gardens Park, and Greystone Manor. You'll find a wider range of shops at the Beverly Center and the Grove, and other great options for dipping your toe into opulence are day passes to posh hotel pools or renting a palapa at Paradise Cove in Malibu. Next up, I want to share a few local gems. We'll start with Olvera Street. Rarely will you find a historic monument as lively and fun as this bright marketplace. Also, taquitos so good they bear a second mention. Check out the Fashion District for slick deals on clothes and accessories. Santee Alley is well known for designer goods, by which I mean very fake. Alley has a long and storied history in the world of street art, which thrives in the Arts District. There are several trendy bars and restaurants in the area, but take care to use valets or have rides pull up close to entrances if you stay past sunset. The fashion and arts district are always a bit rough around the edges and both can get pretty grimy at night. For a bit of idyllic outdoor fun, go for a paddle in a swamp boat on Echo Park Lake. For more insider tips on travel in Los Angeles and so, so many other places around the world, scan the QR code on screen to bookmark Travel Lemming's free, comprehensive guides written by knowledgeable locals with first-hand experience, or simply add the word lemming when searching any destination on Google. For the ultimate excursion into Cali vibes, we're going on a scenic drive through local secret haven Topanga Canyon. Start with a hike in Red Rock Canyon Park, or if you prefer a chilled out morning, head to Topanga overlook to enjoy the view. Grab an artisan pizza at Endless Color or go low-key bougie for lunch at Romantic Inn of the Seventh Ray. Peruse shops in Topanga Center or dig for vintage fashion gold at Hidden Treasures. Choose your favorite crystals at Topanga Rocks, then take your vibe to the level zen with a moment of meditation at Owl Falls, then cruise south to Pacific Coast Highway where you'll find Topanga Beach, the perfect spot for our number one pick, see the sunset. It's me, Jerrica, just from the next video, which is all about the awesome day trips you can take around LA once you've had your fill of all the fun we've talked about in this video. Click here to watch it now. Thanks.